When it comes to Blender, you are going to be moving things around quite a bit. This is why it is useful to know about the local axes. So there are two types of axes in Blender, the global axes and the local axes. To put things simply, the global axes is essentially the axes that every shape shares. You see these colored lines here in the viewport? These are the global axes lines. And if I just select our cube here and then click G, I'm just gonna lock it on the Z axis just so you can see every single axis. So uh, red is the X axis, green is the Y axis, and then blue is the Z axis. And we can lock the shape to any different axis. So if I click Y, it locks it to the Y axis, X locks it to the X axis, and Z locks it to the uh, Z axis. And you can also tell that we are moving our shape on the global axis if you look at the top left of our screen here. It says global. Now this is all well and good, but let's make this a little bit more complex. I'm just going to duplicate my cube here and rotate them on the X axis by 45 degrees. Okay, so I want the second cube here to line up perfectly with the first cube on this side. So we could move it across the axes, uh, you know, like this, to try and get it as uniform as possible. But that's going to be a pain, and it is unnecessary, because we can manipulate shapes on their local axes instead. To do this, lock your movement to an axis like you normally would. So let's take the Z axis, for example, and then press the Z button again. We are now moving the cube on the local Z axis. And again, you can tell this by looking at the top left of the screen, it says uh, local Z. So if I just undo my changes, coming back to the beginning, and with the second shape selected, I can just G, Z, and Z, and move it perfectly to align with the other shape. And this works for any axes and scaling and rotation as well.